Hi guys, it's Crystal with Design Bundles. Today I wanna to show you a few tips and tricks when it comes to heat pressing a hoodie. For today, I'm using my iPad with my Cricut Explore Air 2, so I've already got everything designed out and ready to go. As for this design, there is several different versions of it over on Design Bundles, and I'll have some of those linked down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to send this over to my mat. You wanna mirror this if you guys are working with heat transfer vinyl, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit go. On my Cricut Explorer Air 2, I have already turned my dial to iron on, so I don't have to mess with those settings inside of the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and load my material and we are gonna be ready to cut this out. Now, one of my first tips here, whenever you're working with designs like this, to make it a whole lot quicker is to turn on the two times speed by simply selecting that inside of the software. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit go. I'm gonna go ahead and let my Cricut Explore Air 2 do its job of cutting out my design here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get ready to weed this out. Tip number two, when it comes to working with heat transfer vinyl, one way to speed up that weeding process is to place this on your lower platen of your heat press just for a few seconds. And this is gonna help make this a lot softer. So it's just gonna make the weeding so much faster. So as you guys can see here, it's just going to simply peel right up. Now you can simply continue to weed here or you could just take it back over and peel everything out. And if it starts to get hard again, you could take it back over to your heat press, set it on there for a second, and then start weeding it out again. Tip number three is using a pin pin weeding tool to help get out all those small intricate pieces. Now that we have this all weeded out, we are ready to go. So the first thing that I like to do is use my lint roller. You could definitely heat press this first, remove the moisture and then lint roll. You could do it in whichever way you'd like, but definitely make sure you lint roll. All right, so now what we're gonna do is place this on the heat press so we can pull out any sort of moisture. So tip number four is using a pressing pillow to get rid of those seams. When it comes to a hoodie, sometimes we have those pockets and that gives you a seam at the bottom. Using a pressing pillow is gonna help you get that nice even pressure all the way across. So next up, you wanna go ahead and make sure you're pulling out any sort of moisture before you press on your heat transfer vinyl. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half. So tip number five is if you're trying to find the center of your design, fold it in half backwards and give it a little crease. This is gonna help you line it up perfectly. Then what you want to do is line this up with that V right there at that opening from the hoodie. And you're just going to come down around four fingers or so to get that perfect placement. So now we're just going to go ahead and lay that down. And then we're going to go ahead and apply a piece of parchment paper. And then we're going to go ahead and press. Now for this one, for example, I'm using Stahl's Ultra Weed. And you can do this, I believe, between 285 to 300. So I have it set at 300 for 12 seconds. But keep in mind, all heat transfer vinyl has separate time. So make sure you check with your brand. All right, so now we are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and remove my parchment paper and peel away that transfer sheet. And there you have it. So as long as you guys can see the texture of your hoodie or your t-shirt through your heat transfer vinyl, you're gonna notice that texture. You guys are good to go. This is going to outlast wash after wash. So you guys can see I got a nice even pressure here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.